John came to my office that day with his mother and John told me, Doctor, I'm feeling so much better. The sticky thoughts, the obsessions, are not bothering me as much. Now I still have the thoughts, but they're not as strong and it's easier for me to tolerate the thoughts. I'm feeling so happy. Thank you, doctor. So then I asked John, are you seeing that fantastic therapist I told you that's really good? You start seeing her? And then John told me, no, not yet, doctor. You know, she had a long wait list. So what I started doing with my mom, we have been reading the book you recommended. We didn't finish yet, we're close to the end. So we have been reading the book, What to Do When You Bring Get Stuck. And we found the book to be amazing, really good, so well written book. And then John's mom turned to me and said, yes, doctor, we really like the book. The book is so well written. It really felt like exactly what's going on with John and really give amazing tips on how to help him. It's such an amazing book. So then I told John and mom, oh, that's fantastic. I'm really happy you did the homework, right, to read the book I recommended. We also talked that there are books that can be helpful for families of uh, teenagers or adults suffering from more severe mental illness like schizophrenia or bipolar. But in such disorders, the books are never a replacement for medications. But in the case of anxiety problems, uh, depression and obsessive compulsive disorder, the OCD, at times for very dedicated families, just reading the books, they, it improves so much that we can eliminate the need for using psychiatric medications or even seeing a counselor. How a child respond, uh, obviously from reading the books, varies. Uh, and the use of the books should always be monitored by a doctor. Please review the list of resources for the books I recommend most frequently for children and teenagers. Don't forget to mention to your family doctor that you learned this information at my website and ask your family doctor's opinion if you should or not start reading these books. These books are never a replacement for the advice of your doctor or a consultation with a medical specialist, like for example, a consultation with a child psychiatrist. But the books frequently help a lot of the families we serve. I hope this information was helpful for you. No confidential information was disclosed in this video. This story is based on real stories of the families we see at our office, but this is not a real patient. Don't forget to subscribe to continue receiving our videos. Please review the video description for the terms of your use of this video and for additional resources on how to learn more. Thank you for watching.